I, you know, I've been uh, uh, taking a look at uh, black communities in particular that have been successful in mm -hmm. the past. Right. Uh, Wilmington, North Carolina, uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma, uh, Atlanta, um, Harlem during the Harlem Renaissance. Mm -hmm. um, and the thing that uh, tied all of those communities together was that uh, uh, leadership and social organizations within those communities and educators in those communities were all working with each other to cycle the assets of the community back through the community. So whether it meant um, that the uh, local club uh, where artists could perform was supported by local people or the local grocery stores were supported by local residents or the landlords understood that sometimes they might have to make concessions to people who might have lost a job. The strength of the community was that it looked within itself and it built within itself and it didn't look outside of itself for some form of gift or, or charitable donation or what have you. Whether it was uh, the Black Masons or the uh, uh, Black Sororities or the teachers groups that came together or the social workers who came together. Everyone was building the community from within and not looking to some external source uh, in order to provide the resources that could build the community. Mm -hmm. After the Second World War, there was a lot of legislated segregation that divided communities, uh, not only within themselves, but from other communities that could serve as um, uh, reinforcers of uh, the strength that existed within black communities. And I think there are a number of people who are now looking at um, efforts at uh, desegregation and the like, not only for the good things that came out of it, but mm -hmm. also for the things that weakened teachers unions, for the things that weakened local education, for the things that made it harder for a local grocer or a local plumber to be supported within the community. Looking forward, I think that we need to um, look at those economic and social tools that built up the strengths of places like Tulsa and Wilmington and Harlem uh, in their heyday. The things that white people outside of those communities viewed as threatening right. because of the strengths that were obvious within the communities. We need to take a look at those forces mm. where communities support and build within themselves, have mentors, have people who stand out as role models. And we need to um, uh, look, I, I think, um, particularly at how we are bringing new immigrants into our communities. We need to look at the way we build communities through adhesion and through internal strength, mm -hmm. uh, rather than looking outside of the communities uh, to help. Right. As long as the attitude is that someone else is going to help me, Mm -hmm. um, it, it's really hard to build upon the internal strengths that always exist within our communities. Yeah.